Hello everybody, it's Kevin with Coinery. So today we're gonna to be making a one ounce copper liberty or death coin ring, pure copper. Okay, let's get started. We're gonna start off by putting a 5 8 inch hole in it for this punch. Normally we do a half inch, but since it's a big ring, we're gonna go with 5 8 inch. A self centering die, so just go on, take that punch and drive it on through. This might take a while. Next time I'll put that in the video. It's probably pretty comical. So anyway, that's what the center punch looks like. I put that in a keychain, send it with the coin, with the ring. what it looks like right now. We'll take a deburring tool and get rid of the sharp edge on the inside before we start folding it. Let's soften up the metal by kneeling and then start folding. Here to our armor press. We usually use a, I believe that's a three quarter inch ball. We'll go with the, I believe that's a one inch or seven eighths inch, and then we'll go to that one to finish it up. Go ahead and nail that again before we get too far. Okay. Finish this part up, and then we'll start folding it. 17 degrees. Let's use a cheater bar. Help us out a little bit. Okay. Maybe we'll skip that part. Looks like it's already opened up pretty well. That's what we have so far. It's looking pretty good. Going to kneel again. Okay. Kind of see where we're at. It usually starts off pretty big, so. We're already a size 10, so we'll probably do. We'll see how it goes. 
fold it open, 17 degree die, and a cone. And we'll see where we're at. We might just start using Swedish wrap to get it back on down. So yeah, let's use this one first to get it down a little bit. Swedish wrap die, just to get it started so it'll fit in this cone. The rings are pretty big. Maybe a little more. I stack them because it's almost at the bottom of that die. So now we can start with the cone. Make sure it fits in the edges there. We want to make sure it's centered pretty well. take your time when you're <clears throat> doing this first part just to make sure you get off correctly. So we can start reducing that with Swedish wrap. Well, let's anneal and clean up the edge a little bit and we'll get started with that. fits in this Swedish wrap so we'll use that and we'll start reducing it down and get it to a size 10. First we're going to wrap it with some Teflon tape and because it's going to be a pretty aggressive reduction we're going to use quite a bit of this stuff just to make sure we preserve that detail. Here. We should start with this one first. Let's start with the big one first. Start with the big one and then work our way down.
See what we got, and we'll anneal it again and keep going. Got liberty there. It's still pretty wide. I'm gonna give it another little squeeze in, reduce it, and then we're gonna take off this inside edge because that's getting to be a lot of material to reduce. And it's kind of fighting me, so we'll get rid of it after one more reduction. Not quite to that one yet. I think we've maxed out this one. Wrap it and go to the next one. Next size down. This means we're getting there. When we start to get down in size, we do want to keep checking it just to make sure you don't get too deep into that detail. Okay. You want to see that dark blue color, that means it's compressing. And then there's enough tape there. Right. So now we're gonna start flipping it over reducing it the other way, start straightening it out. It was a little big, but we're getting a lot of friction on the, on the, the die. Here's a little cheetah bar. Now it's starting to straighten out and now we can start reducing it. I think we can hit that side again. Okay, it's taking it down. 
flip it over, start working it back down. And we'll unwrap it, anneal, take that inside edge down again, and keep repeating. edge one more time and then it will unwrap. Ten and a quarter. Close. Let's do the other side. Now we just have to kind of hone in on the detail. And finish her up. Give one more push. We'll try and go under just a little bit. That way we can trim a little bit more of that inner ring off. Inside detail, and then we'll clean it up a little bit, and I'll kind of put the finishing touches of the, on it offline, and I'll show you what I use to clean it up. This stuff called pickle, and you heat it up, and just throw it in there, and it flash cleans it, gets all the oils and toning and everything off of it. Sandpaper, clean up that edge. That's pretty good. person who ordered this does actually want it toned so I want to clean it up and I use a little bit of sulfur on it but I just wanted to clean it up get all the stuff off there before you do that and it holds on better better Anyway, 
is what we need. It's really hard to see that detail when it's shiny like this. So, but the picture will be in the thumbnail. So, thank you for watching. And if you want to see any of my other rings, go to Coin Rings by Kev on Etsy. Thank you.